Gary Craig, the plant freak, just cruising around in gardens. You'll never know. If you look outside your window, I might be out there making a video. It'd be really creepy. <laughs> but anyway, I want to tell you about another cool plant, okay? Here we have Camadoria gigas. Think about that. Gigas. It's like gigabyte, right? What's a gigabyte? That's like a really big number that only nerds know. I think it's like a thousand or a million or a trillion. I don't know. But it's big, a real big. Just like this tree. This is a huge tree. It's called the giant fishtail palm it's from Asia. It grows up in the mountains high in altitude. Now, the cool thing about this tree is it grows so high in altitude, it's really cold hardy. So it'll grow in the Bay Area. I planted some of these trees at the Oakland Zoo way back in like 1993. They got huge. We didn't know if they were going to grow or not. They did fantastic. But look, look how little I look next to this tree. The frogs reach all the way out to here. I can't. I used to be able to jump that high. I can't jump that high anymore. I used to be able to dunk. Well, a baseball, not a basketball. But anyway, let's see. Well, <laughs> I'm too old for that. I can't jump that high anymore. Uh, but anyway, take a look. Uh, I'm going to have my cameraman walk over there so he gets a really good angle of how long these fronds are. Like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be 25 feet long. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times three. That's 27 feet long. It's got a front on the other side, 27 feet long. If you add 27 to 27, you get 52. And that's really, oh, wait, sorry. 54, 54 feet spread on a tree, a palm tree. That's insane. So anyway, I wanted you to know that you could have this tree in your garden. You know, if you have a tiny little condo garden, no space at all, you plant this one, right? Just to piss off all your neighbors. You could probably have the palm fronds going like five different yards. But anyway, you can see the uh, palm fronds if you get close and take a look at it. They're arranged. The structure is like, a bit, like here I could probably reach this one. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I did for a second. Anyway, I can't pull that down. But it looks like a fishtail, and that's why they call it the fishtail palm. It all makes sense. So anyway, you can see the trunk. The trunk gets a real beautiful, exotic, kind of hairy, crisscross hatch to it. And uh, the trunk gets really large. Eventually, it makes a beautiful, hard ring trunk. And these trees can get to probably 30, 40 feet tall or so. So there you go, and now you know.